What's good, Jet Setters? The iconic story of Jay-Z warning the entire Rockefeller Records of 50 Cent's rise will never get old. Jay-Z's right-hand man and legendary engineer, Young Guru, recalls that exact meeting with Jay-Z. Here's what Young Guru had to say. There's a point where Jay walks in the studio and it was just so happened that everybody was in the studio at the same I think it was, we were working on Blueprint 2. And Jay walked in the studio. He said it before, but I'm telling you how impactful it was. He walked in the studio and he was like, yo, this dude 50, y'all gonna have to deal with him in the next couple months. He said it to the whole crew. You got to deal with him. What was that like for you since you was there for... It was a warning. It was like, yo, there's another power coming. Because for me, 50 is like one of the most incredible hook writers. Right. And hooks will get you oh, everywhere. Lord. Everything. Yo, yeah. bro, it was one time me and Bleak was in the studio and I heard a 50 record and I looked at Bleak. This dude said, I know you don't love me because mm -hmm. you ain't the same when Jay-Z's around. Well, I said, uh, Bleak, that's all I want. <laughs> Bleak, that's all I want. Huh? How do we not say that? that. Right. Yo, it's a Bleak hook. Right. How wow. do we not say that? Right. I'm looking like, yo, yeah. no, this dude is too good. They should have really listened to Jay-Z. Jay-Z's prediction was spot on. When I tell you every rapper was on the sideline, I mean it. That G U in the era was a massive tidal wave. Y'all comment down below. Name a rapper or rap group you think got next in the rap game. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.